coming up. We should sell that somewhere. All right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be eating some fish and chips from a new place called Ruby's Fish Bar. So I'm going to give it a crack. Even if it is shit reviews, sometimes it can help with the video. Because say if I find a fit, fit? Yeah, a fit hair. A thick, long hair in the food. <laughs> my bang disgusting. that's disgusting some of the reviews are good some of the reviews are bad but today the reason why i'm eating some fish and chips is because i'm doing a collab finally i'm doing a bloody collab with these two american donnies sean and Corey. but they've both got a youtube channel they're creeping up to 40k and they reached out to me said let's do a collab because they love doing collabs you know i like the idea of doing collaborations i said i wanted to do loads of collabs today i'm probably going to put up a, a little thing here of how many times i said collabing within 10 seconds but you know you kind of share each other's communities everyone comes together you know you check them out their community you will check me out that sort of thing also possibly the next video might be another collab what the fuck's going on so yeah go check them out their food it, like every time they eat something it just looks amazing also because they live in america it's completely different shit from what i eat every video you watch it, you go i'm hungry i want to eat that whereas me i'll just eat the same fast food all the time like kfc McDonald's, Burger King, you know what I mean? It's boring. It's hot as fuck in it. Jesus. Crack a window. Ugh. So yeah, it's really interesting seeing what kind of food there is in America. And also, they're extremely consistent, unlike me. So go subscribe to them. Turn on notifications. Link will be in the description. Tell them that Ben Box sent you. Honestly, if you guys like my content, you'll enjoy theirs probably more. They got proper food review style videos. And yeah, whoever's come from their channel, hello, welcome. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. No, that's cringe. Hope you guys do enjoy whatever content I put out. More collabs in the future. Let's go. Get them to 40K. Get them to 40K. This Ruby's Fish Bar is opening in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to get down there. It's like a five, six minute drive. Hopefully record some clips. I'm probably going to have it portrait. Like, hello, yeah, can I get fish and chips? Also, my family wants some chips and a fish. So why did I say it in that order? Check his hard drive. By the way, I just got out the gym. Gym. Nice workout, but just, just let me know in the comments, guys. Do you guys want to see, like, even if it's like a minute or two of footage, would you guys like to see me working out some footage in the gym? Let me know. I did originate I'm trying to show my progression in the gym, but kind of move towards me eating shit. All right, let's bounce. Psych! I forgot to mention, this is their first time eating fish and chips, so it's absolutely perfect. I asked them, uh, you guys got any fish and chip places around? And they do. So this is their first time eating fish and chips. So it's really interesting as a British person to go over there and see if they, these American Donnies, enjoy it. Thank you, Dirty My Pro. Protein tubs for holding the phone then. Oh man. You ever come out of the gym like your hands just feel like you've touched a thousand people with COVID? I don't want to know what's on my hands. I mean, I've washed them, but even like, I don't know where the hand sanitizer is in the car. So I just come in and touch the steering wheel and the steering wheel is all sticky now. So I've washed my hands and now my hands are dirty again, full of COVID. Hello, top band. Yeah, where we're going, I don't know if it's free parking or not. I mean, we should only be like 10, 15 minutes. Fish and chip shop there that I didn't realize you could get alcohol. Even, oh, that's annoying. Even though it says fish and tipple. I was like, why have they got alcohol in here? I believe it's up here somewhere. Hopefully there's no one in there. You know, it might be a couple builders in there. I say, you know what I mean, getting their lunch. Apparently mushy peas and gravy together are good and that's what you're supposed to do. All right, I think I can see it. Where to, I'm gonna try down here, fuck it. Oh, no, shit idea. Bro, it looks closed, what the? Permit holders only, well, shit. Genuinely looks closed. Go past it right now. It's actually closed. Well, fuck. Cash only as well. Just what I need. I'll see you at another place I've probably already been to. Yeah, you know the fish and chip shop I just showed you? Fish and tipple? Let's just go there. Because, nice. man's skin, I'm trying to be careful with petrol. So this is on the way back anyway, so we'll just go fish and tipple. Shit, and because I've done a video on it, he, you never know, he might have actually seen it. You better call me, bitch! Don't fucking record me! You better call me, bitch! Can't be able to drive around all over the place. Could ask Beef here if they do takeaway, actually. All right, I parked up. Might be sticking out a little bit, but let's bounce. Great shots there, Ben. Nice. Thank you. You know what I mean? Hey. You good, yeah? Yay. Can I get a large cotton chips and then a medium cotton chips, please? Okay. I'll do one medium chips and one large chips, please. Thank you. And then uh, I'll get mushy peas as well. 
Smash it. Yeah, we're getting it fresh. He said like 12 to 15 minutes. So yeah, I, was, I, was, I said I'll be back. There's no point standing in there. And also, if you guys want to see around the place, I probably will try and get a clip or two when I go in. But yeah, you check out the other fish and tipple video. Just search Ben Box fish and tipple. I'm sure it'll come up. Should have got a beer. <laughs> yeah, I got a receipt. It doesn't have the prices of everything. Medium cod's like seven pound, I think. And then the large was like nine pound something. Medium chips was like two pound 50. Large, 350, some of that. And then I got mushy peas because it was only like one pound 70. So it came to £24.50. There's our fish. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you, mate. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you, Thank mate. You. I fucking did it again. I said you too. Good. Let's get you home. Are we back? And guess what? That fish and chips is now open. I think that was nearer toward 20, 25 minutes and 10 to 15. I'm not going to muck him off. You know, he wants to do things properly, but it's what's crazy. That that menu is massive. It is massive. They have like five different boards. Again, check it. Just search Benbox Fish and Tipple. But I'm, I'm skinned, so I had to just get fish and chips and mushy peas. I'm thinking about it. I would have loved some gravy or some curry sauce because if curry sauce is done right, it is nice. I never used to understand it. There's me waffling again, see? Very long bits of cod. I think both the cods are actually the same. And then I bet these chips, there's me loads of chips. Right now I'm hungry, so I can't complain. You can't complain about too much food, right? Not unless you're a Karen. Medium for me here. I did go for salt and vinegar. I kept trying to record portrait, just to add to the video to say, oh yeah, thank you, grab the bag. It was like recording for a minute and then I was like, okay, he's not ready. Nope, I was wrong. He's also labeled the cod. So that's the large there. There we go. That's all right. But well, let's have a look here, shall we? Like I said, they have so much on the menu. And also, the tipple part where they have alcohol. They had like Stella ciders and they had like cloudy apple, like these green cans of strong bows. There we go. And also, I'm convinced that his deep fat fryer must be, he must cook things on low. Or he just likes to cook it a lot. Like, or he just likes to cook it. Or it's a bit broken. I don't know because it did take quite a while. I'm no fish and chip expert, but. Maybe he needs a new fryer. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. These little bits are the best. Bro, why am I holding it like a baseball bat? Like, this is the thing with fish and chips, man. This is what took most of the time is all the wrapping. Salt there, sweet. There you go, there's the mushy peas, guys. Quite runny, more wrapping. Okay, now. So I just have to have a chip, I can't wait any longer. Banging chips. Oil looks a bit old, which sometimes is nicer. Present it like that. Please don't fall off. I'm playing a risky game here. You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. Nah, fuck that. Chips, salt and vinegar, mushy peas, and a medium cod. All right, let's eat. Cheers, Sean and Corey. Ooh. Subscribe. So Northerners, I think, I don't know. I think I'm asking this to Northerners. Do you guys just like dunk your mushy peas on your cod and chips? And then also the gravy? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. All right, decent dipper so far. I also got some ketchup. Let's get some cod, even though I've had it before. I think that's cooked a lot longer than last time. Oh. Mmm. Certainly cooked longer than it needed to, but it is crispy. Right, I've never had fish and mushy peas together. Yeah, I like it. This is the thing, like when I'm really hungry, I don't even know what to say, I'm just eating. I'm gonna use the paper. You guys probably wanna see the food, right? And I can't even like, show it to you. Nice salty chips. What's you guys' this regular fish and chip order? If I had more money, like, I certainly would have tried something else because it seems like he has most of the fish stuff. Like, he has a lot of stuff. Oh, this looks thick here. I feel like it's just been a bit dried out. That's the problem. No how long it's been cooked. What? Oh. Hmm. I can't really remember it having it last time. So I don't know. I can't really... No, I can't really tell if it's any better. That is fresh. Ah, forgot about that bloody shoe box, mate. Not used it in, in ages. Right, I am gonna add a bit of ketchup. I feel like peas are right, but chips need a bit of sauce. Great combo.
What are you guys saying for chips? Mayo or ketchup? Mm. It's weird though, I feel like I've not had like a really good fish and chips in ages. Fuck, some just fell on the floor. You know, there's some that are okay, they do the job, but there's none that have really stood out. So I'm interested to see what Sean and Corey like it, see if they like it. I think in America though, like, if they do fish and chips, they're gonna do it properly, do you know what I mean? Like authentic fish and chips. They got their oil over there. What does that even mean? It's gotta be good. Also, their first time trying it, even if it is average, it might be, they might be like, oh, this is good. I wonder what the chips will be like as well. Like proper thick chips or like Mackey's chips? <coughs> oh, Jesus, why? <coughs> why is ketchup burning my throat, bro? Oh, why did it burn my throat? Why is it spicy? It's ketchup. I feel like if I just eat fish and chips, it's a little bit boring. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not much to talk about. There's chips and then there's the cod. And I guess because I've already eaten it, it's boring. But either way, I'm still going to crack on. Oh my God, it's literally made me tear up. What the? Because there's just so many chips as well. I'm just eating chips. Chip mukbang. Oh, oh, let's do this. Oh, oh. Everything together. Oh. 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 Should smell like messy, but. Hmm. Interesting. But I know that'd be better with either curry sauce or gravy. I think it came with a lemon last time. I don't know. It didn't. Ketchup's hitting so much more than dipping the chips in the mushy peas. I can't do this anymore. I need I need to wash my hands. But yeah, man. Like I said, I haven't had like a really good fish and chips in a while. I don't know why. We've spoken about before where we used to go to. The owners, like the original owners, they did some really good fish and chips. They used to be banging every time. My grandparents would usually go there every Saturday. My granddad would go there, order it. He'd say, take your time. He'd go for a beer or two, come back, bring it back. And he used to slap. And then new owners came in and it was just not the same. It was still decent to be fair, but it just shows like, I mean, there's got to be some fish and chips around that I'm missing out on. London area, let me know. Cause I just feel like I haven't had good fish and chips in ages, honestly. Where well, the batter has like decent flavor. Like, yes, this is solid. This is thick. Do you know what I mean? Like when it stands out, it's like, wow, that's fucking banging. Have some of the skin here. I love the skin. Disgusting! Thank you for thank you for reaching out to me, guys. You know, because you know you guys have like nearly forty k, and the fact that you know you reach out to me was like five k. I really appreciate that. So thank you. Can't wait to work with each other more in the future. And you never know if I come to America at some point, that collapse coming. Oh shit! It just squished. Uh, no, it's just completely falling apart. Just wanted to do more collabs this year and just grow as much as possible. You know? Let's see, it's just a bit dry. Instantly, you can see it's dry. Like I said, I'm no fish and chip expert, but I think it has to be cooked for that long. I actually saw a previous video and maybe I complained about it being too. But I just started speaking and completely stopped. Not crispy enough, so maybe cooked it more. I didn't, and I'm pretty sure I didn't see my video. Shut up, Ben. Hmm, so some crisp action. Decent thickness, nice flaky bits there. Look, that's quite flaky. That's not throughout the whole fish though. And the calamari last time I think was really good. Nice crispiness there. Overall, not bad at all. It certainly filled a hole in my stomach. And of course the prices are nuts, but that's just pretty much the same around London. Shame about the other place. I just don't want to sit around and then like wait half an hour and be like, okay, they're not opening. Or at least I'm open next time to get there a bit later, but it shouldn't sound like 11.45 and then at like 11.55, it's still closed, you know what I'm saying? Bit cheeky. Yeah, I got there at 11.57 actually. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a collab with number six and cheese. Like I said, please check them out, subscribe to them, turn on their notifications, save them box, send you. So like I said, it'll be a really interesting con concept. You know, you can see what food's like there in America. So you guys know I have like a membership thing where you click join and there's two different levels now. So the Smash It one, which is a pound 99, where you can get photo and video updates and also some like early access. So like I'll show you like the thumbnail early. I'll tell you what I eat, stuff like that. Like things go tits up, I'll tell you straight away. And then you get loyalty badges next to your name. Some of you have already got that i appreciate that i'm gonna add a few more and then there's one for 4.99 where i am gonna start doing member only videos i'm really am starting to do it now for this other membership level I'm starting to do member only videos so it'll be like q a's mukbangs i'm just gonna chill eat my dinner or whatever i might record one tonight and get it out tonight so yeah that's just an option there if you guys want to have a look at that it's entirely up to you but yeah thank you for watching if you like subscribe turn notifications i'll see you later